What's up, YouTubers? Jose Quinones, the CNC do here. Today, we're going to wake up the bandsaw. It's been taking a nap for a whole week, and you know, the plan is not for it to become a permanent, a permanent resident in the floor. Obviously, back there, it was okay for it to become a permanent resident, but not on the floor. So I wanna wake it up, stand it up in such a way that it doesn't land on the floor again with me as a mattress, as, as the first time, as the first nap that it decided to take. So let me show you something really cool that I saw with the bangsa in the floor. Well, 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 what have we have here? Could this be what I think they are? Threaded holes? And turns out they are M12 by 175 threaded holes on top of the machine. Well, that is convenient. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I was completely unaware of these two threaded holes on top of the machine because this bouncer is taller than me. It's not, I, it's not like I never look up to see what's, what, what was up here. So, obviously, I saw the, the two threaded holes much later when it freaking landed on the floor. So, these two threaded holes seemed like it could help me to somehow grab the machine from the top to lift it. However, I'm going to be honest with you again. I'm not so sure I should be doing that because these two, these two threaded holes were not mentioned in the manual. So it's not like the manual has a section for, hey, check out those two threaded holes that you can use to put some kind of O-ring or uh, like, an, like an O, what do you call that? <clears throat> Whatever, I'm gonna show you what I mean. But the, the manual doesn't mention these two guys as a means of lifting the machine. So I'm thinking that probably these two holes were put in place to like move this, you know, while it was being assembled. But once it is fully assembled, probably you don't want to use this as a lifting point. However, I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna show you how. But um, I do not want to apply the force through these two holes because if for whatever reason this gets bent, then the bounce may lose its tracking ability and that's way harder to fix. But I'm going to take advantage of these two holes and I'm going to show you how. And I'm going to show you next how I plan of get on grabbing the machine so that I can lift it up with the engine hoist. So I have these two guys that I got from Harbor Freight and I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking, boy, that guy's going to end up with that bounce on his head once again. How dare you use harder fright tools for something so precarious. Man, I've been lifting all of my machine with Harbor Freight stuff since way longer than 10 years. So, I mean, it's hard to believe that these guys are not gonna be able to support paltry 700 pounds. But you know, hopefully those are not my last famous words here. So I'm gonna put this on a piece of wood. I'm gonna bolt the piece of wood into the bandsaw with those two screws that we saw. And on top of that, I am going to ensure that the force is not on the screws. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Well, here is my contraption. Two guys have been screwed in and I have, I have these guys bolted. And so there is no, uh, the screws are in so they don't scratch the paint, although at this point in time, who cares? The top is not gonna be more scratched than the front. But that's the concept. Now let's bolt this puppy in and show you how I am not going to be using those two screws. Well, here's my idea of, on how I am going to grab that piece of wood to the machine. As you can see, the two M12-175 bolts have been screwed in, and then I'm gonna use three ratchet straps to ensure that that, that guy is secure, and that uh, probably the force is gonna come from the straps, not the bolts and uh, the straps go below the surface that I'm gonna show you now. That is, that is basically how you are supposed to lift it. So that's how I lifted before with the engine hoist. So I'm thinking that should be fine. 